Hi, I'm John Cohn, VASE member and VASE board member, and I apologize I can't be there tonight to do this in person. I just want to take a moment to remember one of our members, Dr. Dale Critchlow, who died on May 6th of this year at age 84. Dale was born in Pennsylvania and he attended Grove City College. He got his PhD in electrical engineering from Carnegie Tech. Uh, we're co-alums in that. He graduated in 1956. In 1958, actually the year before I was born, he joined IBM Research. And in 1964, he moved to our new IBM TJ Watson Research Center in Yorktown Heights. He worked there until 1976. He then moved to East Fishkill in 1977. And I have to say, thankfully, he moved to Burlington here in 1981. In 1985, he was made a fellow of the IEEE for contributions to the research and development of large-scale and very large-scale integrated MOSFET technologies. A little more on that in a second. But in 1986, he became an IBM fellow. It was the 97th in our company's then 75 years in history and the first ever in Burlington and one of only four that ever were going to be here in Burlington. Uh, and all the, the, the rest of us, all three of the rest of us, are also VASE members. In 1991, he was inducted into the National Academy of Engineering, and that was a very important turning point because that was one of the things that brought him back in 1995 to work with several others, probably people in this room, to create the Vermont Academy of Science and Engineering, the reason for us all getting together tonight. He retired from IBM back in 1993, which is hard for me to believe because he's still been a very active presence there. And he began teaching at University of Vermont where he quickly became one of the favorite professors. I know so many people who looked at him as their absolute favorite professor. He worked there until about 2005 and then he and Alice retired, moved to Wake Robin and, and he had a very uh, interesting life after that. I want to talk a little bit about Dale's contribution to the science and business of semiconductors, and it just simply cannot be overstated. Dale, over that period, led the team that IBM had to develop IBM, uh, what's called a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor dynamic RAM memory. That's a mouthful, I know, but it's basically the memory that makes everything possible in all of the electronics. And while others, like Gordon Moore, get more visible credit for the sort of business aspect of that, it was Dale and his colleagues Bob Denard and Sam Schuster who figured the science out of that and actually put it in a paper called The Design and Characteristics of N-Channel Insulated Gate Field Effect Transistors. And that was published in the IBM Journal of Research and Development in 1973, and it is the seminal paper which created, by most people's uh, estimation, about $3 trillion in economic growth over the last 30 years. I just want to state that again, that if it hadn't been for the science and math that Drs. Critchlow, Denard, and Schuster put down in that paper, all of that economic growth would have been very, very difficult to achieve. Beyond that, he was a wonderful family guy. Uh, he was married to Alice for 60 years, has three kids, Sally, Catherine, and John. Uh, he was an incredible outdoorsman. I always remember him cycling by our house out here. He was an avid cyclist, and hiker, and a woodworker. He and his friend Dick created the, the wood shop uh, over at Wake Robin. He had a, for those who knew him, he had kind of a dry professorial kind of uh, external, but he had a, an amazingly funny wit underneath that. As a matter of fact, sometimes you had to look at him and then you realized he was kidding. But I really, really appreciated that. And, you know, above all of that, he was a fabulous mentor to many, many people inside IBM, at the university, at Wake Robin, and all over the world. As a matter of fact, one of his uh, last uh, acts at Wake Robin is he created an overview of the semiconductor career for two standing room only uh, sessions there at Wake Robin, just describing to people, not his, not, uh, you know, bragging about his contribution, but talking about the wonders of semiconductor. So I want to take a moment right now, and I don't know whether you have drinks in your hand, so I do want to make a toast, and since I don't know if you have glasses, I want to propose something else. Can you please pick up your cell phone, okay? And I want you to raise that to the honor of Dale Critchlow, because without his 
deep brain and his mathematics that actually figured this out, many wonders like this in the world would not exist in their current form. So Dale, we'll miss you and thank you very much. And all of you, I, you know, I really appreciate you taking this moment to, to honor that great man. So thanks very much. Enjoy your evening and I look forward to seeing you all.